All this week we're learning about changes to our climate here by taking you to the world's northernmost and fastest warming community in Norway. Moving away from fossil fuel energy is controversial and challenging. And in the Arctic, renewable technology is being put to the test. David Schechter shows us how. Just about everywhere you go in Svalbard, it's a tradition to take off your shoes. It helps keep the inside spaces clean. It's kind of a nice tradition, actually. It's also a tradition because Longyearbyen has been a coal mining community for the last 100 years. And coal is a dirty business. Burning coal warms the planet, contributing to the very problem this community now faces. But not for much longer. Svalbard's last coal mine is closing by order of the Norwegian government. And the people here have ambitious plans to transition to renewable energy while helping 1,500 other Arctic communities do that too, including in Alaska. Most of them are getting their energy from fossil fuels these days, uh, so we have a large potential. Heidi Teresa Ose is the CEO of the local mining company leading that transition away from coal. We met in one of the company's old mines. Your job is to take this company in a new direction, huh? Yeah, it is. It is a huge challenge, right? To try and uh, transform the energy pr production in the whole Arctic from fossil to renewable. Sounds like a great idea, but Heidi's telling me the reliability of solar and wind power in the Arctic is still an unknown. We don't have a lot of experience of how it can handle the rough climate and weather conditions that we have up here. So we have a job to verify the technology in the Arctic climate. In an even more remote part of Svalbard is the northernmost solar park in the world. It's getting great results in summer when the sun shines 24 hours a day, but surprisingly also in spring. It turns out solar panels can capture light from the sun and light that reflects off the snow. And when there's too much power, it can be stored for several hours in industrial batteries like these. In the United States, we're on a similar path. Since 2019, we now get more of our energy from renewable sources than we do from coal. In Svalbard, they've stopped burning coal altogether. At a celebration in October, the world's northernmost coal-fired power plant switched to diesel fuel, which is cleaner, but the intention is to add in renewable energy as those technologies are proven reliable in the Arctic. Online now, continue our adventure in Norway on this special interactive webpage. Watch our full-length documentary and learn how climate change is impacting communities right now across our country. So how are we doing here? Government data from 2022 shows 9% of the power produced in New York comes from renewable energy. That ranks 31st in the nation. New Jersey is 8% and ranked 32nd in the nation. Huge job there in Norway. If they can do it, though, it would suggest that anyone can at least try. You gotcha. I mean, right. if we take baby steps, right? I mean, right. you heard from the, the power plant that's powered by coal right now. They've already changed now to, to diesel, which is better all right, still a fossil fuel, but we're at least moving in the right direction. And then some of the, I mean, that woman's got a job on her hand mm -hmm. to go all over to renewable energy. Um, opportunity, let's say. An opportunity. There you go. And, and it's one that I wholeheartedly support. Boy, take care of Mama Earth. She will take care of you, folks.